Hey, how are you? Welcome back to Elemental Mirror Podcast. So, let's get into this because I actually tried to film this podcast twice already last year and here we are doing it again because to me this is such an important thing to discuss but it just clearly wasn't the time last year. Both times, different things happened that stopped me from being able to continue filming the episode, like the phone literally cut off, and then I had a phone call in the next time that I tried to do it. So both times I wasn't able to get this episode complete and uploaded, which is really annoying, but I just felt like maybe at that time it was not meant to be it just wasn't meant to be, do you know what I mean? So here we are, we're going to do it again and hope that this one actually works and it gets uploaded and the message gets out there because to me this is such an important thing to talk about is like, I really feel like when it comes to spirituality and when it comes to trying to better your life, obviously the focus can be on like positive vibes only and you know, like trying to um bring more joy and more positiveness into your life and at the same time that can lead to us ignoring the negative and like spiritual bypassing in a sense of like you just don't even want to look at the horrible things that happen here which I mean it's kind of understandable because who wants to even look at anything like that but at the same time of course it is so important that we actually do acknowledge and address all of the things that go on on earth you know we're humans we're connected and our voice matters and us acknowledging other people's struggle matters you know it matters in your personal relationships to be able to acknowledge what somebody else is going through and to be able to like comfort them and support them it's exactly the same on a global scale and to me it's just something that I find really really important especially as a creative somebody that's like trying to build a platform and trying to help people and you know like it's one thing to make music it's a whole other thing to then completely ignore everything else that goes on you know it's kind of why I even film these videos to be honest because music is so powerful and so important to me and it's something I'm really passionate about but at the same time sitting here and chit-chatting with you about mental health and emotional well-being emotional regulation those things are just as important to me as music because like I know on my own journey when I was really struggling and stuff um these types of videos are what helped me they're what helped me get out of depression and to process anxiety and social anxiety and figure out why the hell I'm even dealing with it you know like searching on YouTube and finding other people's videos is seriously what helped me and what transformed my life and what even helped me get the courage to make music and release it online so these videos to me are just really really important and I would be doing a disservice to myself even as well as to everybody else if I didn't talk about global situations and events that are happening and like the genocide that is happening in Palestine to be honest is just and I said when I filmed this episode twice already I said in both of the videos that I didn't even know what to say because it's just such an extreme disgusting like so far beyond what my mind can even grasp like don't even want to look at those types of videos when they're posted of things that are happening there like it's just so awful that I, I can't bring myself to watch it because it's just horrible and I, like do you know what I mean and it's just so extreme and so wrong and so far beyond what my mind wants to comprehend because like how in 2024 does this still happen like how are we here with this I just I just don't understand to be honest like we're so far advanced with so many things but yet people feel it's okay to literally murder other people that are so innocent and so vulnerable and just living their lives and then like I just ugh, I just can't even grasp and then it gets me thinking about like history when you look back at there's been so many events like this you know maybe not gen well actually yeah there has been genocide before but 
even things where they try to portray it like there's a valid reason for it and stuff like it always comes down to a handful of people that just want to steal resources or that just want to like have more power and more control and more this and more that and they just you know harm innocent people it just I don't even know what to say it just fucking annoys me it's so disgusting and so wrong and just ugh you know, like, what the fuck, (laughs) why, why does this even still happen right now, when we're just so advanced with so many things, and there's so much progress with so many things, like, oh, but anyway, (laughs) coming back to the point of what I really want to say, because I can sit here all day ranting about how it's wrong, but that's not really going to change anything, you know, so, I want to do what I can actually do, which is to speak to you guys about our power and our soul mission and why we're here on earth and what we can do in our own individual lives on a personal scale to help impact the collective and to help support the people that are actually on the ground standing up for these types of things, you know, like when protests happen, when donations happen, of course there's all of those things that can happen physically and, you know, the productive and like movement type of things that happen and then there's also the things on a personal level where you start to implement changes in your own life and then that impacts the collective and like that for me is where I feel the most powerful because obviously being able to change yourself is like the number one thing that we can do so that's where I want to like focus um, this message, I feel like it's just so important to remember our power and remember our worth and remember why we're here, you know, because there is so much suffering that happens here and we can't ignore it, we can't bypass it, we can't act like it doesn't exist because, I mean, even on a personal scale, the majority of people, even in the Western world where you're more privileged, still have issues and things that they're dealing with and stuff, you know, so like globally there's so much trauma and so much stuff that's just hurting people and neglecting and suffering and abusing and just like when you really look at it it's just heartbreaking and you can end up spiraling into so much depression if you spend too long looking at it because it's just so awful and like even people I know in my own life are dealing with so many things and I just want to like wrap them up in a blanket and just squeeze everybody and fix it and make it all better but obviously that's just not possible and yeah it's just so sad and I wish I could do that to be honest if I could like click my fingers and just miraculously change everybody's lives make everybody happy and safe and protected and stuff then I would but of course that's just not not it (laughs) unfortunately but then if you get focused on that you can spiral and lose your power and give your power away essentially so what I want to do now is like bring it back to where our power lies and our power lies in our own individual circumstances and what we can do on a shadow work kind of scale and on a personal relationship scale to really transform earth you know, like, we're going big with this, we are trying to transform the collective, and if you watch videos like this and stuff, you already know that there are so many souls incarnated right now for this change, for this shift, you know, we're moving into the age of Aquarius, so many planetary shifts are happening where, um, like, everything to do with the collective vibration is raising and elevating, and so much is being exposed, so much is crumbling, so many systems are falling apart, you know, so many things that we're just not happy with anymore, and like, it's on all kind of levels, financial, you know, not just money though, and capitalism, but that is one of the main things that puts us in survival mode, so I'm just super glad that so many things in terms of jobs and stuff is falling apart, you know, you've got newer generations that don't want to be taken advantage of with work I saw a um like a post thing about how I think it's Gen Z 
that don't want to um, like they won't even go for a job interview unless the salary is listed and I fully agree with that like you need to know how much you're going to be paid because nobody works for free you know like even simple things like that are huge shifts from previous generations so there is a lot of change happening and when we look at so much suffering it can be really easy to lose sight of the fact that the change is happening but at the same time we still need to acknowledge all of the things that still need to change you know because there's still a long way to go there's still a lot of suffering there's still a lot of people that are in danger and that are hurting and a lot of people that are causing such harm you know and it's just it's really really heartbreaking to see and I like feel so powerless to it because I don't really know what what I can do you know besides like donating money and protesting and all of that there's not really like it just doesn't feel enough do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I just think it's so important for us to remember our soul mission, to remember why we're here, and to make sure that we are being the best versions of ourselves, like, to make sure that you're leading with good intent, you know, like, to focus on your intentions and on righteousness and standing up and speaking up for things that matter, whether that's huge things like genocide and fucked up things like that or whether it's in your personal life and people that you meet and like little remarks that they say that may be racist or might be you know like whatever it is just I feel like it's just about being more intentional and more aware and more conscious with the interactions that you have and with the choices that you make you know and the people that you surround yourself with and really just choosing things that are better for you like things that actually serve you things that are good for your well-being and that are good for your soul you know instead of just settling for all of this stuff that doesn't matter that doesn't bring you joy that doesn't benefit you that like sucks the life out of you and everything you know like just being more intentional and more conscious of what we're doing with our lives because we are here for so much more than what we're led to believe you know and so much more than all of the people that are really suffering and all of the depression and all of the pain and you know like there's just so much of it that you can get lost in it and you can spiral and just get consumed by all of the difficult things that you're having to deal with and whilst that is so so valid don't get me wrong like it is so so valid but at the same time like if we could shift perspective and remember why we're here on earth and how important you are as an individual and how much your existence affects the collective then like you would just find so much more meaning for your existence that you could then actually like tap into your power remember how important and powerful you are and then actually choose better things for yourself you know because you remember your worth so yeah Oh, no, I just think a lot of people are kind of, um, like, a lot of people are suffering, and also a lot of people are kind of the cause of their own suffering, sorry to say it, because as somebody that was the cause of my own suffering by choosing toxic relationships, and, like, not pursuing my dreams, and settling for things that didn't bring me joy, you know, sometimes we can just feel like that's all that we can get and that our dreams are too big or too unrealistic or whatever it is and then you just kind of suck your own joy out of your life and you also shrink yourself and like you give your power away it's not like somebody's taking it you're literally handing it to them by not letting yourself be you you know and by like not even paying attention to or looking for the reason why you're here like you're forgetting your soul mission man you're forgetting that you are literally a soul in a vessel experiencing life and that you've probably had many other lifetimes that you've experienced where you've been different people different genders different races different beings maybe even on different planets you know different planes of existence like you could have been anyone and anything at any time so how can you possibly feel like you don't deserve the best? How can you possibly feel like you are not worthy of your dreams and of a healthy, happy relationship and of a healthy relationship with yourself too? Like, you literally are a soul. How could you not be worthy? 
do you know what I mean? And, like, I know it's easy to say and, like, it's very easy to lose sight of your power and of your worth. But, like, you literally have come here to experience this life and to create this life. Like, you have come here as a fractal of source or a fractal of God or a fractal of consciousness or whatever you want to call it. And you literally are a manifestation of that creativeness, you know? Like, your creative power, you are creating on a daily basis, whether you even notice it or not. And you have so much creative potential, if only you would let yourself tap into it, then you could create whatever you want. And don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that it's just gonna happen overnight or that it's gonna be easy or, like, that you can just sit around and do nothing and then expect everything to fall in your lap. Sure, some things could happen like that, but of course, if you want to actually like make a change in your life, you've got to be proactive and go out and get it. But that doesn't mean you have to burn out. That doesn't mean you have to overdo it and kill yourself in the process. You know what I mean? Like, you can enjoy your life. You get to enjoy your life. You get to make the changes and stop following things that you just don't want and that don't bring you joy, things that you don't actually even like, or things that aren't supportive of you, you know, so many times we pick people that aren't even nice to us, people that literally will put you down and abuse you and insult you and criticise you and, you know, and th and then we still choose them, and I've done this, so I'm not even judging, I know what it's like to be in that position, but why the hell do we do that to ourselves when you could have anybody, you know, like there's billions of people in this world, you could have your pick of a bunch, and yet you're settling for this one piece of shit, <laughs> like why do we do this to ourselves, you know, and I just feel like we're so trained and programmed to be so closed-minded and so zoned in on a complete lack of power and complete despair and hopelessness that like it's so hard to find your way out of it because that's all you've been taught that's all you've known and you've been in survival mode for so long but if you would just shift your perspective to your soul mission like and start questioning why am I here? Like, is this really all that life is? What is my life? What do I want out of life? And really start evaluating it and reflecting on it and journaling and all of this stuff, whatever it is that works best for you, but just like, look around, you know? Sometimes I literally will go to the beach and I look at the ocean and I'm just like, wow, you know, this shit is just so magnificent, it's so huge, it's so far beyond our comprehension of how nature works, and, like, how earth is formed, and how our bodies function, and, like, there's just so many miraculous things to do with life that we don't really pay attention to, because we're so busy in survival mode, and when you really take the time to just sit there and look at it, it's like, oh my god, like, life is just so huge and so big, <laughs> I don't know what word to use, but it's just like, there's just so much to it that our minds can't even grasp, and yet we cage ourselves in and limit ourselves to such a degree that we literally will just work, eat, sleep, repeat, you know, and like, where's the joy, where's the fun, where's the play, where's the laughter, like, where is it, you know, and sometimes I look at my daughter, and I'm just like, wow, because she's just, like, giggling over the simplest things, and like, just wanting to explore the way she's, like, standing up, and crawling around, and she's trying to walk, but she's not quite there yet, and she just wants to climb on everything, and pull herself up on everything, and it's just, it's so cute, but it's something so simple that we all do all the time, do you know what I mean, and it's just, I don't know, I'm just seeing like the childlike wonder with her and it's really inspiring and just bringing more passion and meaning and purpose to my life and I don't know, I just think adulthood is just so hard sometimes and it can suck the joy out of everything that we do, you know what I mean, especially bills and oh, the mundane stuff, the muggle shit, like I said in my last episode, but yeah, I don't know, I just think it's so important to really, really tune in to your soul mission, anytime you feel lost, anytime you feel like 
life is spiraling out of control and there's just so much chaos going on and so much noise and your thoughts are running wild and all of that if you literally just bring yourself back to your soul mission back to okay why am i here what do i want and the fact that you are a soul in a vessel i feel like for some reason for me that perspective shift even just for a moment relieves so much pressure because i'm just reminded of the higher perspective that this is so much bigger than our human problems you know it's so much bigger than our day-to-day mundane lives and getting caught up in our heads and caught up in overthinking and anxiety and you know whatever kind of struggles we're dealing with and relationship dramas and stuff if you just bring yourself back to your soul mission it's such a game changer it's really 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 helping me honestly and sometimes I forget to do it and then my mind spirals and stuff and then a few days later I remember ah fuck I've not been paying attention to why I'm here and I've been getting caught up in all the human stuff and now I'm forgetting my power and my worth let me tune back in and it's like a huge energetic reset so I highly highly recommend doing that if you do find yourself just like spiraling and getting lost because honestly it's such a game changer I just think I mean, it's why we're programmed, obviously, especially in the school system and stuff. We are programmed to play it small and to play it safe Mm -hmm. and to forget our worth. And also, we're literally taught in a way, like in a structure and a system that puts us straight into jobs, you know, like we're we're trained to learn in a certain way where every single person in that class or in that entire school actually let's go global in the whole school system globally like in standardized schools are trained to learn in the same type of way even though we're all individuals and we all talk about how different we are and how unique we are and how we do things differently and stuff but yet we're taught in schools in the exact same way and expected to all learn the same and that's just so stupid it's not even realistic and obviously it's been created in that way for a reason i mean it's not changed in so many years deliberately to keep us small and to keep us caged and to keep us shrinking ourselves and forgetting our power so that we don't go out and create the lives that we actually want you know like it's a deliberate thing unfortunately but this is where our power comes in and remembering our worth because again when you have this reminder of I'm a soul in a vessel and I'm here for incredible things and I get to do whatever it is like the thing that I'm here for doesn't necessarily mean I'm here to become a world superstar famous billion trillionaire that like lives on a yacht and does this and that you know like it doesn't necessarily mean that we're all here for those types of things it doesn't have to be something drastically you know whatever you want to call it it can simply be that you're just here to be you you know what I mean and whatever is authentic to you is what you're here to do it doesn't mean that you have to become a global superstar or something like you could be working in McDonald's serving people and your smile literally you smiling at a customer could make their day do you know what I mean like that's the type of impact that's so much deeper than any of this financial and all of this like huge trillionaire type of shit like it's about being happy (laughs) really and it's taken me so long to realize this even though it's something that so many people say but like it's taken me a long time to really truly understand what that means like it's about being happy it's about doing the things that you feel called towards doing what you want doing what brings you joy that is really why you're here and when we're in survival mode we're not aware of what those things are so bringing yourself back to the perspective of this is my soul mission what do I want why am I here what do I enjoy let's go try some things and see what that is you know let's go figure it out because you're here for a huge huge powerful divine soul mission and you don't have to just plod along in survival mode I know making changes is hard, I know like it can be scary because it's like well what if what I want is highly unrealistic, what if what I want is not something that's possible for me and there you go again caging yourself in because now suddenly you think that your calling, that your soul has placed in your heart like 
that that calling is unrealistic and not possible, why the hell would you feel it then if it wasn't possible? You know? Like, why would that live in you if it wasn't possible? Why would that idea be right there for you if it wasn't possible? This is what I have to remind myself all the time when I feel like I'm talking to myself in these videos and, like, not getting any views or whatever it is. Like, this is in your heart for a reason. You are called to this for a reason. Whatever it is for you, you're being called to it for a reason. So, like, why would you have that calling if it wasn't possible? do you know what I mean and it doesn't matter how fast or slow it happens that's irrelevant the point is that you're enjoying it the point is that you doing the thing brings you so much joy that you can't not do it do you know what I mean that you can't just sit around not doing it because you're passionate about it and you want to go and do it and that's what's happened to me even though I sometimes like doubt myself and struggle with it and everything but the main thought that comes up for me whenever I feel like that is like well what else would I do there's nothing else that I enjoy to this degree. Like, there's nothing else that I would want to do that would bring me as much joy as making music and talking about these things does. You know, like, this is where my passion is. And I would do this whether I'm paid zero, whether I'm paid £10, or whether I'm paid a million. I would be doing this, you know. Even, I was thinking even before about, like, if I was to retire like when I get old or whatever and it comes to retirement, I wouldn't be able to stop <laughs> because to me, this is not work, you know, this is joy, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm passionate about and yeah, things may change, I don't know if I'll be making music until I'm like old or maybe I will and I don't know if I'll be releasing it when I'm old but like I'll still be doing something creative because it just it's just who I am, you know, like, and it's a calling for a reason, and that's not even about money, that's just about joy, that's about passion, that's about excitement, that's about, like, this is what I'm here to do, because, like, it's all I've wanted, it's all I know, it's, you know what I mean, and it doesn't even have to be something that you've been passionate about for years, it could be something new, it could be something that you just feel like trying, and just seeing, you know, and then that could become the thing that you just love to do all the time and you know and it can even be because there's just so many possibilities with this like it could even be something that you do every now and then or it could be something that you earn a living from or it could be something that's a hobby like there's so many possibilities you do not need to cage yourself into anything you can do whatever it is that you want to do in whatever way that is however that looks like to you that's what it is and you need to just go for it and stop holding yourself back stop doubting yourself you are called to it for a reason these cards are both stuck together so we're gonna pull it <laughs> leap you go first the universe will catch you do you know what's funny is before I filmed this video I started to doubt myself about filming it and I thought what if the cards I pull aren't relevant to what I'm saying <laughs> The universe is literally like, shut up, you're being so stupid right now, like, <laughs> this card is so accurate, and I was not expecting that at all. Leap, you go first, the universe will catch you. If that ain't telling you to just go for it, I don't even know what is, because I like that phrase, actually, the universe will catch you. <laughs> you just have to go for it honestly and you could call it the universe you can call it your soul your higher self you can call it god you can call it whatever you want but at the end of the day it's a higher aspect of you it's a higher aspect of everybody and that includes you you know like you are powerful and you are here for a reason and you can take that leap you can go after whatever it is in whatever way like you can create a plan you know you can break it down into baby steps it doesn't have to be these huge things that you try and cram everything in in one go you know like it's baby steps and you can take that first step, you can take that leap, and really just go after whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you feel called towards, to just transform your life, you know, like, to transform your mood, to make yourself feel better, like, it doesn't have to be huge things, as I said in the last episode, you can literally 
go and have a bath and that can bring you joy you know like we're not even just talking about huge massive things we're talking about bringing more joy into your life and that can include pursuing your dreams and remembering that you are a soul in a vessel and you have so much importance and purpose of being here you know like you are needed and you are valued so the other card is you're already doing it stop overthinking keep facing your true north this is the card that i pulled in the last episode so it's really ironic that that has come out again because it's another reminder that you're already doing it you know like stop overthinking stop overthinking you probably already know what it is that you want you just need to allow yourself to acknowledge it and go after it and embrace it you know, stop doubting yourself and judging yourself and also listening to what other people will think or it's not even necessarily what other people will think, it's your perception of what they'll think, like you don't necessarily know for a fact what they'll think, you're just guessing and maybe you're going past, like going by previous experiences and stuff and you're now projecting that onto them, so stop analyzing and overthinking about what everybody else is going to think of you because most of the time they're focused on themselves really you know and only people that are like lost have the time to be focusing on everybody else you know only the people that are not pursuing what they want to be doing are the ones that are looking at other people and their opinion doesn't really matter anyway because they should be focusing on what they actually want to do and do something about their misery <laughs> you know what i mean so the next one at the bottom of the deck says no wait postpone pause say no how funny that you've got leap you're already doing it and then no like look at that contradiction right there <laughs> and I actually feel like this is you like this is somebody out there vacillating between the two one is saying leap and the other is saying no that's like having the angel and the devil on your shoulder you know like the aspect of you that wants to do it and the aspect of you that like is like hell to the fuck no I don't want to do this this is too terrifying do you know what I mean <laughs> do you know what the card is below that answer the call what is your soul calling you to do yeah <laughs> so you might be torn between leaping and holding yourself back and this reading is literally the message is coming back to say answer the call what is your soul calling you to do come right back to the focus this is exactly what my message has been this whole video what is your soul calling you to do what do you feel called towards what do you enjoy what do you find yourself doing and it can be absolutely anything this is no judgment like no judgment from yourself either this does not have to do with career this does not have to do with money this does not have to do with anything unless it's something that you feel called towards like what is the thing that you really want to try because maybe you're torn between going after it and not going after it it could even be a relationship it could be absolutely anything but like what is your soul calling for what are you being called towards that you keep avoiding and running from because there are parts of you that are desperate for this thing and there are parts of you that absolutely are terrified of this thing and keep saying no to yourself you know like every time you feel like you want to do the thing and you're ready to take the leap maybe you even psych yourself fully up for it and you plan it out and then bam there comes that negative voice that's like no you're not good enough you can't do it you're not worthy yada 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 and it does not shut up and yeah <laughs> I hate that voice but at the same time when we sit with that voice we can really start to understand why it's telling us no because really it just wants to keep you safe it's not trying to hurt you it's actually trying to help you it's trying to protect you it's trying to keep you safe and it's only through us avoiding it and shunning it and running from it and suppressing how we feel that we then start to spiral and we then start to feel worse and that's when you get caught between the two parts because you've been shunning them both <laughs> and you've been neglecting yourself and procrastinating probably and just like drowning yourself in so much chaos and so much noise that you don't take any action whatsoever and also something that I learned in therapy as well is like a lot of the time when these voices go on, 
it can be that we're actually being really mean to ourselves, you know, like you might have this part of you that really wants the thing and then another part of you that's terrified of you going after your dreams, but then the the third voice or like the voice in the middle can be so mean to both parts like every time you get excited for this thing there's a voice that's like oh my god you are so not worthy of this and then every time you're terrified there's a voice that like for god's sake man up like get on with it stop being lazy just do the thing stop it kind of thing you know like there's voices all over the place that just judge constantly and it's really coming down to self-judgment and it's something that I've been learning a lot in therapy to do with self-judgment because that is what I have done for years and didn't even realize that I did it you know it's like your fears are valid okay <laughs> what are you trying to tell me with that like this light just decided to fall on me but yeah I will deal with that later I'm not trying to put that back up right now but anyway like so much self-judgment I feel like that was just the call for me to pay attention to what I was just saying then and to like pause there and take a second because it really does come back to self-judgment all of the time and like the way that we doubt ourselves the way that we shrink ourselves the way that we don't allow ourselves to do the things that matter to us, to do the things that we really, really want, you know, like, I wanted to do music since I was 13 years old, I first started having vocal lessons at 13 years old, and I went on such a long journey with it, of so much doubt, so much hesitation, not even allowing myself to sing, and to practice, and to train my voice, and to get better, and improve with it, you know, like, if I'd have actually allowed myself to practice, throughout that time, my voice would probably be so far beyond what it is right now, but with so much self-doubt and so much fear, I didn't even let myself sing the majority of the time, like just around my house to myself with nobody else even there, I still would not let myself, do you know what I mean? Like that is an example of how much we literally suffocate ourselves because we don't feel like we're worthy, you know, and it's just so sad that we really just harm ourselves in that way like there's only so long that you can suppress yourself before you become miserable like of course you're depressed you're not living a life that you want you know of course you're unhappy you're not allowing yourself or you're not choosing things that bring you joy so of course you're unhappy that's a natural normal human response to all of these awful things in your life or all of these things and circumstances that have been out of your control or all of these things that other people have done or all of the things that you have chosen and the things that have hurt you you know like of course you're unhappy if that's the life that has happened and if those are the circumstances that you've been dealt but you know like from that point you can actually take your power back and you can choose to make changes and you can choose to like look at what will bring you joy look at what you will want and look at what your calling and your soul mission is and start to pursue those things instead of just staying stuck in this cycle and feeling unhappy you know and don't get me wrong, of course, again, it is easier said than done, like, I am well aware of the fact that so much is easier said than done, so I'm not saying that you just need to snap out of it and get on with it or anything, because, like, nah, it can take years, of course, but you're giving your power away when you don't allow yourself to believe in the fact that it is possible to change your life you know, and change how you feel too, like you're literally giving your power away and allowing life to weigh you down and allowing all of these things to hurt you and suffocate you and cage you when you can make some changes if you really want to, but first it starts with you believing that it's even possible. And you might need to do a bit of shadow work and uncovering your beliefs and going back into different traumas and things to really uncover the root of that. Because, of course, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're just going to transform it instantly. But, like, doing the inner work will definitely help you along that process of being able to make the changes, you know. Like, change comes when we do the inner work first. So... To be honest, I really feel like the majority of people's soul missions is to do this work. 
you know and that is again why I find it so important and like I'm so passionate about filming these videos because that's my calling is to do this inner work so that I can remove all of these limiting beliefs and transform my mindset to then be able to create all of the art that I want to create and have fun and like live a fun joyful abundant life and make memories with my family and people that I love you know like but in order to do that and in order to believe that I'm worthy of that I have to do the inner work to really undo all of these beliefs that I've carried since childhood you know and it can be the same for you maybe where you have all of these limiting beliefs and different trauma traumatic things that have happened to you and stuff that now it's time to now it's time, I don't want to speak to you like I'm telling you what to do, because I'm not, like, it's up to you what you want to do, I'm just saying, this message with this reading is like, it's time to choose, because you not making a choice is you choosing, like, you not choosing to take the leap is you choosing to stay where you're at, you know, so are you going to continue vacillating between the leap and the yapping no voice that's constantly judging you and putting you down or are you going to do something about it because we can't stop our thoughts from coming up you know I've said this so many times before in other videos you can't stop thoughts from appearing in your mind they're gonna come but what you can do is allow them to flow like you can allow them to be there without judging them you can allow them to exist without believing their story because their story is going to be based on external circumstances and based on other people's opinions it's not the truth of who you are it's not the truth of your soul it's not the truth of your calling and your soul mission it's just noise you know and again it's easier said than done I know because it's taken me a very very long time to understand that and I still get caught up in my thoughts even though I understand that they're just thoughts you know like it takes a lot of work it's a daily practice to be able to come back to the observer perspective you know like it's work it really is work but it can also be fun work it doesn't have to be something that's bad because when you start to see the changes in your life you realize it's paying off it's just like working out as soon as you start seeing the progress with your body it then excites you and then the motivation starts to increase because you realize oh my god this is actually working you know like I feel like shadow work is kind of the same because you start to notice when it's working that it builds momentum and then you get excited about it and then you want to keep going but at the beginning it can be kind of daunting and overwhelming and a little bit scary because it's like am I really going to delve into these past traumas that are fucking horrific that I don't want to acknowledge how am I going to do that you know so obviously you might want like a mentor or a therapist or somebody that can provide you a safe space to be able to go into those things especially if they're really really serious and and like really traumatic and awful then I definitely would recommend getting a therapist or like a spiritual therapist like I have that can help you and support you along that but otherwise just journaling and doing things in your own meditations and just quiet time like it doesn't have to be sitting there in the meditation position and pose or anything like that it can just be some quiet time by yourself to hear your thoughts and observe them oh this card just blew upside down oh the king of cups in uh, not the king why did i say the king don't have a clue why I said the king the knight of cups in reverse so some people could be feeling very ungrounded and un like emotionally uneasy and like you're not progressing like you're holding yourself back or like you're just a little bit on edge and chaotic and stuff you know and the sun is also at the bottom of the deck I wasn't sure if I wanted to shuffle again then but then I saw the sun Miss Leo I've got a Leo moon we like a bit of sunshine on our skin <laughs> oh god but anyway yes I just feel like it's about shining bright do you know what I'm saying? That is what the sun does. The sun is unapologetic. And also beneath that, we have the eight of wands. Like shit can move fast when you allow yourself to be who you are and to express and to just stop holding back. Stop caging yourself. Stop suffocating yourself. I kind of want to pull a card for the no. Just to clarify exactly what it is that people are knowing in themselves. Do you know what I mean? Oh, these cards want to go on the floor. Well, we got the Nine of Swords. 
there's just so much doubt, there's so much negative, like, suffering and just, oh, closing in, like, I even want to do the expression that's in the card, because it just feels like so much despair, so much hopelessness, so much, and obviously we started off this video talking about genocide, like, we started off this episode talking about so much suffering that happens in life, and of course there's all different kinds of scales and degrees in terms of suffering, like we're not here to um, like judge it and weigh it all out and all of that stuff, because everybody has something that they're going through, and I just, oh, I just feel like there's just so much chaos and so much closing in on people and so much suffering and so much darkness and you know what I mean like it's just a complete hopelessness and a complete powerlessness and despair and yet at the other side of it with all of the souls that are coming in to help change this and like almost bring that spark and that reminder that actually there can be so much joy and there can be so much for us to live for if only if only we could see it if only we could remember it if only we could let it in and if only we could make the changes and don't get me wrong like i understand that there are certain lives and certain situations where that change hasn't been able to happen and they're no longer here you know, like, of course, there are people that are, their lives are being taken, and they don't have the opportunity to transform their lives and to make it better, you know, like, there's lots and lots of people that are born into circumstances where they don't have this privilege, so as people that do have this privilege, where we can make these changes, and where we can, like, do our shadow work, like, we have the privilege of being able to do shadow work, so, like, what a powerful thing, what an incredible opportunity that we have to be able to analyse our traumas, and change our circumstances, we get to manifest our dreams, we get to pursue our dreams, we get to create, you know, like, you get to try things, you get to, try different hobbies and like you get to create art for me that is just so incredible we are so blessed we are so lucky and we are so valued and we are so worthy of our dreams and of our passions if only we would believe in it you know you have so much to live for you have such an incredible opportunity and only you can take the reins of that so really remember your worth, remember how powerful you are, remember that your journey here does not end with a job, it does not end with, you know, like being caged into societal expectations or the beauty standards or whatever else it may be that's really weighing you down, like you have an incredible opportunity right now to really transform your life and to really tune into what it is that you want, what it is that brings you joy, what it is that you like, what it is that you, just everything, all of the things, you know, your calling, your spark, just everything, you get to tune into that, so, you know, of course, it's easier said than done, as I've said so many times in this episode, because I'm not trying to say that this is just like a flick of a switch, and it's just instantly done, I know that it takes work, and that's what I'm saying is like, let's do the work, let's do the work now, because what's the alternative, the alternative is that you continue in the cycle that you've already been living in, and you stay unhappy, and you stay spiraling, in fact, it could get worse, you stay spiraling, into worse and worse situations because that mirror continues to come up with different circumstances, different people, different relationships and it continues to show you all of the lessons that you are not acknowledging and not utilising and transforming, you know, 
and I don't even like to see it as the universe is testing you and the universe is punishing you like no this is yourself this is your higher self this is you this is you who chose to incarnate here in your life giving you the opportunity to grow the opportunity to learn the opportunity to experience more joy if you would choose things that bring you joy instead of choosing all of these fuckeries that harm you and that don't benefit you you know like enough choosing the negative and don't get me wrong of course some things will happen that you didn't necessarily choose so I'm not saying that every negative thing that happens to you is chosen by you absolutely not that's not true but the things that you are choosing you can now change that and then watch your life transform with it you know watch more opportunities come that align with it you know that align with the new vibration that you're in because you're actually experiencing more joy on a daily basis so yeah (laughs) it's just really about doing the work and I know that like not every soul not every person is here to do the work not everyone is here to actually do this and that's okay too so this message is not going to resonate with everybody but like those of you that are here that feel that spark that feel that urge and that drive to want to do the work but are terrified of it or that holding back or don't feel worthy or whatever it is like this is your reminder that now you eat what is the alternative you might be torn between the two things and what is the alternative you either stay in the circle that you've been in or you make a change and this is your reminder that like if you if you're doubting yourself if you're doubting your calling if you're not sure whether to take the leap this is your reminder to take the leap and seriously answer the call what is your soul calling you to do self reflect have a little bit of me time and sit there and really do this inner work to try and figure out what it is that you're here to do and i promise you when you do that and you start asking yourselves these questions and you start exploring it and going down the rabbit hole you're honestly going to open yourself up to so many things I couldn't even tell you what those things are because the possibilities are infinite like you might not even know what those things are yet you may not have any awareness of what it is that you want right now but when you start to reflect and you start to have a look and explore your own mind and your own heart and soul and intuition you're going to come up with so many things that might even surprise you and it's gonna seriously be such a game changer so yeah enough holding back let's go do this now let's go explore our soul mission i feel like this was such an important reminder for myself too of like i'm already doing it i already know what it is that i want i just have to keep going and keep believing in myself keep trusting myself and just enjoy it like that's where I'm at now is to actually enjoy it because I've spent so much time taking it so seriously that it really sucked the joy out of everything that I wanted to do you know so yeah hopefully like once you start exploring it you'll get to that point too or maybe you're already at that point and maybe this is just another reminder of your worth and stuff but like once you keep going you will seriously start to experience so much joy and then you'll be able to actually like enjoy the process of it rather than constantly taking it so serious and you know being so hard on yourself and punishing yourself and all of that like cage and stuff so yeah I really hope that this episode was helpful I hope that it resonates but just again take what resonates and leave what doesn't I'm so grateful for you listening on the podcast apps as well as watching on YouTube you can check out the information box down below on whatever app you're listening on Um, for all links to my music and everything about me our group chat on telegram my phone number you can whatsapp me also my shop because I hand make crystal jewelry as well and I have oracle cards in the works too and yeah everything else about me is all in the information box and I will see you in the next episode thank you so so much and I hope that you have the best week I'll see you in the next video bye